This is my manual metal lathe that I've made three modifications to. First I added a rotary encoder to my spindle, I added a motor to the lead screw and I added another motor to the cross slide. I've connected motors and encoder to this controller which allows me to do threading with any pitch that I want, multi-pass turn and phase separations, make cones, cut off reliably and most importantly it can cut automatic threads even multi-pass ones. For a cutoff operation I will first bring the tool into the right position, zero my position and enter the depth of cut. I want to cut 15 millimeters deep. Now all I have to do is press on, but the pitch is too high right now. Let me use a different one. If I want to do a manual cut, I can always disable the cross slide motor and move it manually. To cut a cone, I will go into the cone mode, press play, use the ratio that I want. For more the taper too, it will be 0 0.5. Press play again. I want external cone. Now I can enable the spindle. And there are a lot more features that this video is too narrow to contain. All the threads and modes are supported also for cutting left to right and also from inside out, for example for internal threads. I can move any of the axes by a precise amount using the step function, type how much I want to move. For example right now it will move 1.23 millimeters. I can also set the limits at a precise distance from the current position. Now the upper limit is set at 4 millimeters from where we currently are. I can also set the precise step to any amount that I want. So if I want to move every time by 5.5 millimeters, I can do that. Now if I don't want to use this controller for some reason, I can always disable the stepper motors and move everything manually. Now, you can upload any software here that you want. 
The electronic list screw software is in active development right now. If you choose to order the controller from my website today, make sure that you're comfortable updating the software using Arduino IDE. It's as simple as downloading one file, opening it up in the IDE, and uploading to the device using the USB cable.